I really don't like public transport. Now, you're probably wondering, Osprey, what the flip bro? Are you talking about public transport? You're supposed to be making Spider-Man animations. I promise I will. I just really want to talk about this. I've been getting buses my whole life, just like most people, I guess. But I've had a few experiences of just weird, weird nonsense happening on buses over the last... At least two months worth of years. But uh, yeah, I've, I've got a few stories from my time of getting buses, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a little video. This video was originally meant to be a tribute to George Cooper. I'm sure you've recently seen that he passed away. Rest in peace, man. But yeah, anyways, let's let's talk about buses. We're going to start off with a very known story where I live. It is this woman by the name of Scary Mary. We call her this because she's called Mary and She's a little bit scary. You guys gotta understand, there is law to this. The story of Scary Mary has gone from my sisters, who are both in their 20s, closer to 30 now. They, they knew Scary Mary from when they were in secondary. And now, I know Scary Mary and I was in secondary like three years ago. This is just a side anecdote to paint a picture. She smells of urine and you know, you know like bird seed, like when you're at a garden centre. She smells like that, but not in a good way. But yeah, she gets on the bus, right? She always sits at the front, like, behind the bus driver. Because on the buses we used to have, where I live, there's like this one seat on its own, right behind the bus seat, uh, driver. And whenever kids got on the bus, right, what she would do is, if, they, if the kid was like loud, or just doing anything, she would turn around like this. But yeah, no, she's just a really weird woman. I don't know what her problem is. There was this one time, quite recent, like a year ago, she was trying to push in the line to get on the bus, and this... <laughs> this 6'4 Jamaican dude was the one she was trying to push past, and he did not like it. I can't really repeat the things he was saying, because it might come across as culturally insensitive. But this clip I'm about to put on screen is kind of similar. I don't know if it's appropriate for me to put that in the video, but here we are. I still see her sometimes. Sometimes I wonder if she knows she has this reputation, because as I said, this is law, man. People know her. My dad knows her. I think she used to have a little crush on my dad, because I went to the uh, shops once with my dad. And she was in there, and she was just stood in the corner like... Hello, Osprey Dad. She didn't say it exactly like that, obviously, and she didn't say Osprey Dad, but along those effects. But yes, that is the story of Scary Mary. There is this more recent occurrence, and by recent I mean two weeks ago. So I was sitting on the bus on my way to college, and I normally just I zone out on the bus. I don't really I don't listen to music. I don't go on my phone. I don't I don't talk to someone. I I guess I honestly just zone out until I'm there. I I go AFK. I was AFK, and there was this kid on the bus talking to his grandma. I don't know what about. I wasn't listening. Then I heard him say, "Clear of day." I I I did not mishear him. He said, "Osprey." At this moment, I was like. And his, his grandma looked at me, and he looked at me, he smiled, and she said, shush, shush. Is that my first fan interaction? I get recognised on the bus by some child, and his nan is trying to hide it. I swear I heard Osprey. I don't know though, I, re I don't know, and it's been haunting me ever since, because I only have 500 subscribers, guys. If one of those 500 people live on my bus route, that is wild. Also, if that child is watching, please don't call me Osprey again. I sh** myself. I was telling my dad about it, and he said there's this thing where, like, you keep, you keep, you think you keep hearing your name in public. And if that's the case, I'm more concerned than I'm hearing Osprey because that that's like a whole Batman thing where, like, Bruce Wayne calls himself Batman in his head. 
I don't call myself my real name in my head. I call myself Osprey in my head. I don't. I do. If that was my first fan interaction, it could have gone worse. But yeah, that's the story of um, getting called Osprey in public. There's one more story I want to tell, and this story is the reason I wanted to make this video, because it just... It angered me with a passion. Basically, this, um, I was on the bus, obviously. This older woman saw the bus going past, and she started running for it, like, proper, proper running, not like a little silly speed walk. She sprinted. And this, she got on the bus, this uh, elderly woman. She got on and she was stood in the middle. And she was look, she was scanning, looking at everyone. Trying to get them to give up their seat for her. And then she tutted when no one would. Obviously I'm no one to judge the uh, athleticism of an elderly person and what they can and can't do. But I think if you can sprint for a bus, you can deal with standing on a bus for at least 10 minutes, you know? But later on, she, um... There was a seat next to me, so she came and sat next to me. And this is where the annoying part happens. I'm, I'm wearing my Osprey coat, and because my Osprey coat is quite long, it's, um, some of it is just on the seat next to me, right? Now, if you're gonna go sit next to someone, and their coat is on the seat next to them, you normally just say, sorry, can you move your coat, please? No. This woman, this old woman, what she did, guys, it was like this. She grabbed it and went like that on me. Bro, just ask me to move it. You don't have to do that. It didn't hit me, but like, you've grabbed me like that. That is technically assault. I'm going to tell the feds. Then the whole bus journey, she kept glancing looks at me and tutting. As far as first impressions go, this elderly woman has made a horrible one. I've never complained about someone so hard before. It's the elderly people. They don't have a very good reputation on buses. There's, there's even that whole like thing of someone with coloured hair getting on a bus and the old people just stare. Even though it's the old people who are like, it's, it's, it's rude to stare. Stresses me out guys. Stresses me out. But yeah, that was pretty much it. If you guys like this sort of video, please, please let me know because I could make videos like this forever. I love just talking. Maybe because of the tism, that's maybe why I like talking. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want to. I won't force you. Stay safe. See you later.